the first we have is a live wallpaper from chroma and it is called floats earlier also i have uh, reviewed an application from chroma and all their live wallpapers are very colorful and they all contain these kind of material designs and geometrical shapes which are really very eye pleasing so every time when you unlock your phone the application will actually change the wallpaper it will present you with a different shape and a different color apart from that you can also shake your phone to change the wallpaper so if you go into the settings you can actually enable or disable the shake feature you can also go into the shapes and select the shapes which you actually like or you don't like by default all the shapes are selected so you have to make a choice here apart from that you can also choose from different kind of color options so here are different kind of color presets and even if then you are not happy with what they have given then you can choose your own color palette you can create your own color combination as this is a live wallpaper so it will definitely be consuming battery but here also developer has given you options to change the breathing scale and the animation scale if you are using a moto phone then we all know that double chopping the phone actually enables the flashlight so this feature the shake feature of this particular app may interfere with the chopping feature of any of the moto phones apart from that you can use this app wallpaper app in the landscape mode as well it does not contain any kind of advertisements and pop-ups and it's free to use so definitely an app that is worth trying the next we have an application called pi music player and it has been developed by a software based app company pi labs now if you're someone who are coming on directly from an iphone to an android or from a samsung phone to an android then you may feel that the default google play music app is a little bit clumsy for the first time however using that application actually gets you used to it but the pi music player is actually an app that has a very clean looking interface and all the features of google play music you can also very easily access to the equalizer settings right from from the slide panel and it has all different kind of standard presets that any music player application should have apart from that the application also has four different theme options the light dark black and the glossy one which you can choose to select depending upon whether you are using your phone at the day or at the night and this feature is really missing in the google play music application I also tried out the search feature which is there in the application and it works really very well and even then if you are not finding your song then you can also use the folder tab which is there at the end and you can access music directly from your phone storage or your SD card. What I'm using here is a trial version of this application. You also have a paid version where you can download different kind of themes and also you can remove ads but in my opinion the trial version is itself very much sufficient so definitely give this application a try. So the next we have is a keyboard called Touchpal and this keyboard is for the people who like to type very fast. This keyboard is all about very accurate sentence prediction and in a way this keyboard is far more better than the Google's default keyboard. So as you can see that I'm able to type whatever I want depending upon the sentence prediction feature that this keyboard has and this keyboard actually learns much more faster than the Google's default keyboard and it saves the new words and it actually learns the way you are constructing your sentences and for this you don't actually have to download different kind of languages separately if not needed. Apart from that this keyboard has all different kind of smileys that you can find in Google's default keyboard. You also have the support for various kind of GIF files and even then if you are not satisfied you can download smileys from their online store also. Also if you are someone who likes to use character based smileys then you don't have to download a separate application for that. The keyboard has a lot of character based smileys. The features don't get over here you go into the settings and then you can change various kind of keyboard layout you can have floating type of keyboard you can split them from the center and much more things also this application is absolutely free with little bit of ads which are not that annoying so definitely try this out the next we have is an icon pack called Graphics and this icon pack is very different from those conventional icons that have uh, very vibrant and saturated colors. So this icon pack is actually meant for people who have very specific taste for colors and uh, the, all the icons provided here are very dusky um, and it may not be liked by many people but if you combine them with some very specific set of wallpapers then you can create some very awesome home screens. And as you all know that I do like to customize my home screen a lot so I immediately applied this icon pack with this wallpaper and I think it looks really very cool. Apart from that the icon pack has support for many launchers including Nova, ADW, Next Launcher and all those popular launchers that you can find on Play Store. I would also like to tell you here that the support for icons is not that wide as you may find in other icon packs but if you are looking for a certain icon and it's not there then you can definitely request a developer and give some donation if you want. So I think this icon pack was something very new and interesting so I included that in my list. 
So the last application in today's list is called Android P Rotation and it is inspired from the upcoming Android P operating system. So this application can actually turn your display from portrait to landscape or landscape to portrait without even turning on the uh, auto rotation in the settings. The interesting thing about the application is that it can even rotate the things or rotate the applications which are meant to be work in the landscape mode like for example the kind master application which works in the landscape mode you if you want you can even you know get the support or you can even use that application in the portrait mode so this is something interesting about the application and since the time i have started begin to use this i have not used the auto rotation feature so something very interesting although there are a lot of applications uh, which are doing the same work but this is the one that really does what you want so i'll post a link in the description you can download all the applications that i've shown here from that so friends this was all about the video thank you so much for watching if you are coming new onto this channel don't forget to subscribe and give a like if you really like the application which i've shown here and see you in the next one